Dr. Gary Wyron, Master PGA Professional, has taught over 250,000 people around the world to play golf. Teacher, author, player, historian, businessman, and ambassador of the game, Wyron is CEO of Golf Around the World. Golf Around the World has the world's largest selection of learning and training devices to help your game. Here are some favorites to help you become the golfer you would like to be. Hi, I'm Gary Wyron, Master PGA Golf Professional, and welcome to the world of improving your golf. We're going to show you today one of the most successful learning devices ever created, the impact bag. You know, there is only one moment of truth, and that's the moment that club meets the ball. But how do we train to get at that spot? Well, the impact bag does it. Let me show you, first of all, what you do when you get your impact bag to put it in the proper situation or position that it can be used like it's supposed to be used. Use soft cloth to stuff the bag with. You don't stuff it too tightly, and you don't stuff it with the wrong materials. Never sand or little those little light peanuts. Always cloth material. If you stuff it too tightly, the, ba the, ba the bag will bounce the club off of its surface. But keep it so it's just a little bit slack so it captures the club in the bag. Now once you've done that, the next thing you do is see how that you're supposed to use your bag, and that is one with support. We usually put it up against a cart tire or a tree, or if we're on the range and we have our little reference sticks here, then we simply put them in the back so we can keep the bag from moving because we need resistance in this drill. Now, the next thing is we can try to look for the correct swing path, and we do that by putting either a club underneath the bag so we can show our line of flight so we'll come from the inside, or use another learning device call our self-teaching board, which shows you by color the direction you should go, green to blue. The basic drill for the impact bag, and the most important one, is the drill where we're simply working on the correct position of the club and body when it meets the ball. Now where is that correct position? These are the cues you're to look for. Number one, the left arm and club are in a straight line. The left wrist is flat not broken down at all. The right hand has not gone into full palm reflection yet or straightened out. The center is still right at the back of the ball. The weight has rolled off the right foot to the left foot. Now you don't have to hit the bag hard. You simply hit it for position. Feel where your body's supposed to be. That's where every great player comes to at the moment of truth, the moment of impact. You can be in a lot of funny positions going back, taking it away and going to the top, but when they get to the bottom, they all look alike. The only time you want to hit the bag hard is if you're a pity pad hitter, meaning you decelerate near impact. Really to get you to get through there and get some more distance, if that's a problem for you and you slow down and hit behind the ball all the time, that's the only time where you're really going to go in there and make a noise, make it pop. If you're there, get in there and do it again, get in there and through the ball right there. That's the only time we ever hit the bag hard. Now, the next thing we do for the, with the bag is maybe one of the most popular of all, and that's the absolute 90-second cure for the slice. I do this all over the world. I'll do it with a crowd of 300 people up there and say, how many of you people slice? And there'll be several hands that go up, and one will say, well, I've never hooked a ball. Come on down here. We have them hit a shot with their driver, and sure enough, big slice. We say, now you folks watch. In 90 seconds, this person is going to hook the ball. Do you ever hook it? No? All right. Watch this. And this is what we do. We have them take the right hand off the club, now using an iron club like a six or seven, and we try to take the toe and put it into the bag as though it were a knife. You're trying to put the knife in there. Now look at my position of impact here. It's left arm extended rather than folded, left wrist flat and rolling a little bit, and the toe of the club into the bag, right hand coming off. Then we leave the right hand lie, lie just very gently on the grip, staying on there, but still the left hand kicking it right in there like this. Back away to a teed ball and do exactly the same thing, and that person immediately pull hooks the ball because their swing path usually is a little bit outside, and the faces are closed a lot now, but they hit a hook immediately. Gradually then we get a more from the inside and it turns into a wonderful, nice draw. More distance, more control. So that's a very, very popular use for the impact bag. Now a couple of other ones for you. One of them is people who have the trouble with that dreaded word shank. 
When a person is shanking, they're throwing the club from the outside in, and we want the club to come from the inside slightly. So we put the ball right here close to the bag, and we have them hit shots. Now, if the club comes from the outside, it hits the bag. Therefore, the club can't even get to the ball. So they have to learn to swing coming from an inside path a little bit and hit the shot where it will never be placed on the hosel, which, of course, is the cause of the shank. Now, another one. When people tend to push their long irons out to the right, and I'm sure you've all done that because that seems to be a tough shot to hit. You get that two, three iron in your hand, and then it pushes up there to the right. Well, a lot of the times it's because your center has gone past the ball when you've hit it. You've moved your center. Trying to hit it a little harder, you move over to the left side, your center goes forward. If you will simply pinch the bag between your ankles like this and swing back and through and hit balls, it'll brace up your left side and get the club face to release and turn the ball a little right to left, and that's a joy. Finally, also for one of the important principles in the golf swing we call connection, is to simply take the bag in your arms like this. Now you wonder, what is he going to do with that? Well, we're going to show you how to toss it to teach you how to keep your arms and body connected, like this. I'm simply going to go back. You see, my arms are still on my chest right here, and I'm going to turn through and toss the bag, but keep my arms on my body here. You see, when you disconnect is when your arms separate from your body. You want to learn to turn your body and arms together in this fashion, and that's a connected way. You know, there are a myriad of other uses for the bag. Use your imagination. You can probably find some yourself. But you've just experienced one of the great teaching aids of all time, the impact bag. We hope you enjoy it.